traders, FS Perkulet here. Today is Wednesday, September 11th, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound US dollar starting on the monthly, working my way all the way down to the one hour time frame for the full top down analysis. So, on the pound dollar, I'm definitely still very bullish overall. I still think this is likely either an expanding flat, which would take it way up above these highs, likely to one of these two fib levels, or it's a running flat, which likely would make a lower high and turn at one of these lower Fibonacci levels. Either scenario, I'm definitely still very bullish, and I still think that it will continue and make a pretty nice uptrend on shorter time frames. Going down to the weekly, I think this is the end of a wave two right here, which means that this would be a wave one of three. WXY wave two of wave three, and this would likely be a wave three of three. If it is a wave three of three, then on these higher time frames, it should continue to make higher high, higher low, higher high, higher low, and just keep on trending up. So let's take a look at it on the daily time frame. On the daily time frame, I got my Fibonacci retracement on this last move right here. Now today is CPI inflation data for the U.S. Definitely going to be a pretty big day for the U.S. dollar pairs. To me, this correction doesn't really look complete. I almost kind of feel like it needs to go down to one of these lower Fib levels. Maybe even stretch out to the, one of these much lower Fib levels before it actually does end up continuing back up. But if today's inflation news causes it to continue up, I definitely am going to go long because this trend is up on the weekly and monthly. And the trend is definitely your friend, especially those higher time frame trends. Going down to the 4 hour time frame, my structure level is right here, which it did try to break that structure. But it kind of seems to me like it needs to go down and hit one of these lower fibs. We never did hit the 38% and it almost kind of seems to me like it might even stretch out into the 50%. We do have that CPI data coming out today, but I honestly wouldn't be surprised if that was not what caused the continuation of the uptrend, but next week's interest rate news is what actually causes the continuation of the int uh, of the uptrend, and today's CPI actually just causes the continuation of this correction. So anyways, let's take a look at it on the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, we had a little bit of pound news this morning, the GDP news, which did cause a, probably a nice little sort. Definitely did make one, two, three waves up. And to me, the trend is technically down on the four hour time frame. And we never hit a Fibonacci level, so I'm definitely still very bearish on the sort of term time frames. I think we are in a wave C. I just don't really think that wave C is complete yet. I think that it needs to go down and at least hit the 38%. If the today's CPI news causes a big reversal and it goes up and breaks structure, then I will definitely, definitely become a buyer from that point on at pullbacks. But like I was just explaining on the four hour time frame, I think that this news may actually just cause the dollar pairs to continue down until next week when we have interest rate from the U.S. dollar. And the U.S. dollar interest rate is more likely what's going to cause this to continue the uptrend. But we're going to have to just watch and see. We're going to have to just pay attention to our structure and see what it tells us. And hopefully we'll be trading in the right direction. So anyways, don't forget to join my free Discord group. It's a link down here in the corner. And as always, thank you and happy trading.